everybody and welcome back to the channel Shana here um long time no see or no speak I guess um <laughs> since I can't really see you but um I just wanted to pop in and say hello and try to get back to filming again I've missed you guys so so much um and yeah I really want to get back into the community coloring more and chatting with you all more and all that good stuff um yeah, so I hope you'll have me back. Thank you all for sticking around, um, and thank you for any newer people who are here who just stumbled upon a video and decided to subscribe. Um, I really do appreciate you guys, and I'm gonna try to be a better color tuber <laughs> and try to get back into it, because I do, like I said, I miss everybody and I miss coloring for sure. So, I just have a little Rapunzel here because it's something to look at, and the stack beside me is like way too big to pull over. Um, so today I am going to go ahead and just kick off like this new, um, not era, but like a new chapter, I guess, um, with completed pages from July and August. Um, and then hopefully, probably not, well, definitely not this week or next week. Um, I do want to go ahead and do a color and chat. Um, it won't happen this week or next week because I am going on vacation. So, um, I'm actually going to Disneyland. Woo! <laughs> um, I've never been. Uh, most of you guys know, sorry for the rambles, by the way, but most of you all know that I work for Walt Disney World in Florida, um, but I have never been over to the other side in California, so I am super, super excited. Um, we're going for about a week, and then when we come back, hopefully I'll do a color and chat and we can chat about all that and what's going on in my life. So without further ado, two minutes into the video, um, I can timestamp it for you. <laughs> um, we'll go ahead and get started on finished pages. Um, they're not, let's put Punzi back over here without knocking everything down. Um, they're not really in any order. I think they're from like most recent to oldest just because that's how like I just kept stacking my books on top of one another um so I think that that's how that they're set up so we'll go ahead and get started um and then I said all that but the first book because I almost forgot about it I have not I did not color in in August um but I colored in in July oh did I only get one page done well that's sad because that's from I guess I only finished one page, but um, it is Square Mandalas by the Belba family. Um, and I finished this page. And then I got a decent start on this page. Um, my hand started hurting, so I stopped for a while, and then I guess I just never came back to it. Um, but I only have, this is a goal. I didn't set any goals this year because I just knew like life was pretty crazy um towards this time last year and then um the be just from then on out from my last video um so I just decided to um not do like five or ten books to color and just color what I feel like um but this I do want to finish this maybe not this year but hopefully soon um because I only have one two, three, four. I only have five pages. Um, so I am going to take it with me to Disneyland because it's easy to travel with this. And I use, um, the Inconics, which I have my selected markers for each color in here. So I can just take this and it won't take up too much space in my carry on. Um, so I can color and like listen to audiobooks while I'm on the plane. Cause it's like a five hour plane ride. Um, across the country so <laughs> that'll be fun um so yeah that is that one and then recently this might also be out of order but I colored in cute llamas which this book has been everywhere because it's one of such and such Deva's um newest coloring books so I it's just so cute and one of my roommates Angie she loves llamas and it just reminded me of her but I also love llamas they're just so adorable so I had to go ahead and get this one, even though I am pretty out of touch with like all the new coloring books and artists and there's so many new artists 
um, since last year. It's absolutely insane, but it's very exciting. So I colored this guy with, I don't remember what I colored him with and I didn't date it, but that's okay. Um, alcohol markers, obviously, but I just don't know which ones. And then I put some, I don't know if you can see it, but Wink of Stella on the little mushroom there. I should have done their wings too, but I didn't. So yeah, that's that one. And did I, and I kind of, ooh, hello, I should have put it on Do Not Disturb, I'm sorry, I forgot. I'm out of touch, guys, so if the lighting's bad, it's currently storming outside, I don't know if you can hear the thunder, um, I apologize, but I wanted, I really wanted to get this done before I leave into, uh, well, today's Friday, so in three days, um, but it is, it's like nine o'clock at night, and yeah, anyway, that's just how I do things sometimes, um, and I'm sorry for the buzzing, but I don't want to pause the video now. <laughs> I don't think I... I was going to color something else, but I don't think I ever did. It's just so stinking cute. So yeah, so that is Cute Llama's color by number. I don't know where to put any of these because everything is stacked up. <laughs> and a lot of these I did for Danny Button's bingo. Um, I can post... I should post my bingo boards. Um, I don't think I, I think I got bingo, but I did not get blackout in either month. Yeah. So, um, I can post those on Instagram if I remember. If not, you can message me and I can send them to you if you really want to see it. So, um, then I did this one and this one was for the O prompt. Um, and I used Jelly Roll glitter gel pens on, um, like the insides. Yeah. And then I just wanted to do shades of orange. Um, it's super <laughs> stinking cute, fresh start, but I, I used, what are they called? Someone gifted, I think maybe Elizabeth gifted them to me. They are Stellar. Oh no, no, I'm shaking the coloring card. I'm sorry. I don't know. They're 48 permanent markers. Um, and I was trying to use those, but then like my bright orange ran out. So then I tried to use, um, the Copic chows that I'm pretty sure Lisa sent me because this orange is really nice. Um, but man, that was a learning curve. So <laughs> it kind of um, went a little bit awry. Uh, this was super streaky. Um, this one, finally, I got the hang of them because um, I was using the brush tip. I should have just used the chisel. I didn't really think about it. Um, and then I was like, I was going to leave it and be like, don't be so picky, but I really didn't like how it looked and I wanted to get the hang of those markers anyway. <clears throat> so then I went back over this one, but I didn't go back over this one. So this is a little darker, this is a little lighter. There's streaks, but I still had a lot of fun coloring it, so I don't really care. And I really like this book. Um, it's Feeling Good Today by Sally Berry. Um, I'm again out of touch with a lot of their stuff, but this one is just so fun and it's so easy. Um, just to put color on a page because they're not super detailed. I've done quite a few in here. So one day I'd like to finish this one. But yeah, they're not super detailed. Anyway, um, I'm sure at this point in life with me being gone for so long, you all have seen all of these books. But if you want to flip through, let me know. <laughs> and then I did, I forget, this was for the, oh no, this was for the octopus prompt. Oh, I have too many tabs in here. Um, here's my girl. And it's also the first page I colored in. There she is. Um, so I did this little mermaid. I don't know if you can see very well. Is there... There's the... Oh, hello. <laughs> I just stuck my face in the camera. There's a little bit of a glare. Let's see if we can, like, adjust the focus. Is that any better? Oh, that's too bright. Is that getting better? Oh, that's too dark. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. There's like a happy medium in here somewhere. There we go. I think that's good. Um, So I used a bunch of different alcohol markers as a base. And then I was watching Emma Colors, and she did a matchstick mouse page where she went over with pencils. And I've done it only a handful of times. Um... And so I tried to do it here. Her tail looks really good. Everything else you can't really tell. I accidentally made the octopus a little too dark. 
um, but that's okay. Uh, and then I used King's Art gel sticks on the background. Um, and what I did was just put like a light layer down, but I should have put a really thick layer down because it didn't blend out as well. But I actually kind of like how like it looks like sketchy and kind of like painterly. So I did that. Um, and then I went, I saw these paint markers, um, from Ardex, the pastel ones on Coloring with K's channel. Um, and I struggle so much with my freaking Posca pens and like paint markers in general. But when I saw her using that brush tip that's on these, um, I'm gonna hopefully do a haul one of these days too and I'll show you like the tip but if you want to check out her video it's a really good video she swatches all the pastel colors um and I was like this is absolutely perfect like they're going down so smoothly I wonder if they can do that for me and they were on sale I think um for prime days maybe no I, I think they just were on like a deal so I picked them up um, and I really like them. Then that's what I used for the bubbles. So I did quite a few different pastel colors and I just, I don't know. I actually really like how this turned out. Um, she's super cute. She looks a little sunburned, but she's a mermaid. I tried to, I was not feeling very creative with color palette. So I did base her off of Ariel. Um, but yeah, her skin came out a little pink. Uh, I don't do skin tones very often, obviously. So, um, yeah, it didn't it didn't go great but it's okay I just left it as it is she doesn't look that bad once I added in like the background and stuff <laughs> but this book is also adorable and I do want to color in here more I've been on like a like I just want to use my pencils for some reason but but the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but then they take forever so then I don't want to use them but anyway I've been trying to experiment with some things every now and again when I get time to color so then I did, and I've been, I don't think I've dated a single page. Then I did this one from Yippie Co. IA Volume 1, and this was for the pink prompt, and um, nothing better than some pink piggies. And I used all Jelly Roll pen, gel pens. Um, and then the background is, uh, not pan pastels, what are they called? Um, they're chalk pastels. Fudge. I can't go get them, but I use it all the time. It's like my little palette and it has the little stick and they're like split in half. I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head right now. Um, but yeah, and I actually really love this page too. So some of them are glittery, some of them are neon. Um, I just really like how it turned out. It took a while and my hands started to hurt because it's gel pen, but it was really fun. So yeah, so going hog wild. This is also another book I would like to complete eventually, um, but it's kind of slow going. Well, I've got quite a few done in here, but it's gonna take a little bit. Oh my gosh, sorry guys for the buzzing. And then I picked up um, for the hardcover prompt, this uh, Daydreams Hannah Carlson Artist Edition uh, that I got in a subscription box. And I was like, I really just want to color one of those. Some, somebody, I don't know. You guys all inspire me when I watch videos because then I'm like, oh, I want to do that. Um, so I used Derwent. Well, okay, so Prime Days, I thought I got Ink Tense, but I actually just got their regular watercolors. Um, but that's okay because I really like them. Um, so I used uh, almost exclusively the Derwent um, watercolor pencils. And then I went over the background with chalk pastels, uh, and I need to like spray a fixative on it. And then the bubbles have glitter gel pen, and then over top they have glossy accents. Um, so I really like how those look. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but um, I can zoom you in a little. Um, but yeah, they're a little bit raised. And then when I went over with chalk pastels, I was kind of sloppy about it. So I kind of got blue all over <laughs> everything, but I also kind of like how it looks cause it looks like it's underwater. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really happy with this page and I really, really like those um, watercolor pencils. So I might have to get a bigger set eventually. I only got the 36 set because I wasn't sure like what I was getting myself into, <laughs> especially if they were the ink tents. And then 
I did a page out of Gnomes at Home, which I picked up at Walmart. Um, the artwork is by Deborah Muller. It's a Zen Doodle book, but this one isn't like crazy Zen Doodly. Um, and the images are just adorable, but I did this one with the night sky. Um, I don't really know why. <laughs> I just like was flipping through and it spoke to me, so I colored it. Um, I used a bunch of different stuff, lots of alcohol markers, um, a bunch of jelly roll pens, and I guess that's it, but I know I used a couple different sets of alcohol markers to get the colors that I wanted, um, and I really like how it turned out. <clears throat> I was trying to be good and not color, like, every little zen doodly thing that I saw, um, and it went pretty well. Like, I limited the color palette. It, I don't know. I really like this page. So this one I did date. I did it on August 8th. <laughs> so yeah, that is my gnomes at home. I've been really liking the gnomes coloring books lately. They're just so cute. And then I did one from Pastel Goth and I think this is by, yeah, Larisa May. So it's not a, the Coco Wire one, but it's the Larisa May one. And I did Cthulhu Cat <laughs> at the beginning of last month. Um, and I think he's super cute. He's kind of scary, um, but it's fun. So I just used, I believe, spree markers for this one and then a little bit of gel pen. Um, I did some like shading on the skull and a little shading down here to make it look like a puddle. Um, I thought this was would be like a volcano erupting. And then this was supposed to be lava, but it kind of looks like blood. Uh, so that, <laughs> it makes it more creepy, I guess. Um, but I thought it was more orangey marker until it dried and I was like, oh, okay, well that's fine. Um, it still works with the color palette, so yeah, but I think he's fun and it was very fun to color. Ugh. Then, I don't know if there's a bug or if it's just dust because I haven't dusted my desk in a while. I colored this one out of the Kyosho Geneva Color by Color Summer. Um, I think I used it for last page. I don't remember what prompt. Don't, who am I kidding? Um, <laughs> and it was fun. Uh, I just was kind of winging it with colors. I didn't really match them up or anything. So it's a little bit wonky, but it's okay. I like it. I just forgot like how hard it is to see and differentiate some of the colors um, in these books. But I was also doing it with like not as much light as I have now, so that probably would have helped. But it was fun, but I f almost found it a little frustrating. Um, so, and I just think it's because there's so many tiles and they're like so mixed in and some of these aren't quite like, well, that one's a lot of colors, but um, well, yeah, this one's not quite as bad. I remember kind of feeling the same way when I did this one, but yeah, so I still like them, um, but I think she has like color by numbers out that are, I'm not sure the same images or the same like style, but it's, there's numbers instead, and I feel like that might be more up my alley. <laughs> and then I finally finished this Forever Whip in July. This is the only picture I did for Christmas in July. Um, and this is in George Tufexis's Christmas to Color, no, Christmas Color by Number. Um, and yeah, I did this little cardinal page. Um, uh, Walmart keeps emailing me, it's so annoying, sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah, and I like how it turned out. I used the Tau Tree markers because they're um, easier to like get into the small spaces. Um, and I think it looks pretty good considering there's still alcohol markers and they kind of bleed together, but, um, I really like how it turned out. I've tried pencils in these books and I just don't like it as much. Plus again, it hurts my hand. I think I'm just because of work and I use my hands all the time that they just get sore, um, from repetitive motions. So, um, the markers are kind of the way to go for me right now. Uh, when I do it, like, put the pencil over the marker, it's not as bad, but I've really started noticing it when I'm coloring too much with, like, smaller mediums, like gel pens or pencils, and it's very annoying. Getting older isn't any fun. Oops, forgot my color palette. 
And then I did this one as a buddy color with um, T from T's World of Adult Coloring. Uh, and this is The Amazing World of Fantastic Creatures. And this is just like one of the cutest books I have ever seen. And you could just go crazy with color because they're all mythical creatures. Well, that one looked like a panda, but um, they could be on like any planet and they're just stinking adorable. So this one was the page that officially got me back into coloring. Oh boy, what did I use on here? So I used my pastel thing that I can't think of right now um, for the wings and I just blended a bunch of different colors to kind of get that um, effect. And then I was gonna, this was a whole process, I was gonna white out the wings so that I could go over them with glitter. And maybe I should have done that. But then I didn't like, I was trying to use my stupid Posca. Um, <laughs> sorry Posca, but I don't like your white marker. Um, and it was just not, it didn't look good. So then I went, and I only got this part done. So I then I went back over it with the thick, like my black marker, and it was way too thick. And then I was like, all right, well, now how do I cover this mistake up? Um, so I think there's a hair in here. Yeah, there is. Um, so I was like, okay, well, let's just glitterify it. So I grabbed my stickles and I glittered the grab out of it. Um, and I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, the pot, the pens did work here on her little horns. Um, but I just wasn't liking the way the wings looked. So I wung it and I tried to fix it and I think I salvaged it. Um, yeah, it's super cute. And you can check out mine and T's Buddy Color over on Instagram. I believe it's on her page because um, I have been crazy lazy with Instagram. Um, but yeah, it was a super fun one. So thank you, T, for coloring with me. Um, and we should do another one soon. Um, but yeah, I made this, like, its tail. And I kind of did, like, normal colors, but I liked the red, so... Yeah, but I wasn't sure if this was leaves or tail, so I was like, we're gonna make it a tail. <laughs> and I think it worked out. So yeah, kind of obsessed with that picture. It's very fun. Um, and then I did a couple in rose-colored window, or rose windows from Creative Haven. Um, I've had this book for a while and hadn't done anything in it, so I did one of my least favorite pages because the sun is very creepy. Um, so yeah, I did that one. <laughs> it looks okay. My marker got a little streaky. And then I did this one. Um, I think there was a rainbow prompt or it was R or something. So I did like R for rainbow. I think that's what it was um, on the July bingo from, Dan from Danny Buttons. So um, I went ahead and I colored this guy and I really like how it turned out. I think if I had used a little bit lighter shades, it would have looked a little better, but um, I like it. And I've just been super messy with my coloring, like the markers splatter, and I'm just like, whatever, I'm just coloring to relax. <laughs> so, not the end of the world. I don't remember what I did in this, but clearly something. Oh, I did, I think this was for one color. So I did this silhouettes page. And these are harder than they look because with alcohol markers, like trying not to get streaks in these big areas going from like small to big, it was very hard. Um, but I think it looked pretty good. So yeah, it was fun. It was pretty relaxing to just do the one color. And I need to work in this book more as well. Then I did, I picked up this book. Um, I think I picked it up in July, well, no. January, I guess is when I, I know. Elizabeth gifted this to me. I forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I totally forgot. Um, so she um, got it for a couple of us, I think, and um, it's just so cute. Um, obviously, that's January. I think I started on that page, and then I was like, oh, I can't really see the color palette. So then I started working from the back. Um, so that was February. I'll just show you guys these. Who knows when that was? It was probably, well, that might've been July. And then I did that one, this one. No, I think these were probably in February and I just forgot to date them. This one I did in July, I think. Yeah, so maybe not, um, cause that's the last page. 
But yeah, I was having a blast with this. And again, I used my Tao Tree markers. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. When it's big spaces like this, I like to just take the chisel and like color. <laughs> so it's not like, like it's a little lighter in there, a little darker over here, but um, it's faster and eat. like I like the way it colors. So that's how I do it. But yeah, so that is Alice Mills Frosted Cake. Cookies and Cakes Adult Cross Stitch Coloring Book. And I lied, I did two for Christmas in July. I also did <clears throat> the Axolotl Gingerbreads. Um, and this was the this or that for that Danny Buttons did um, on her. So it was like bingo and then this or that. Um, so Christmas is a lot of fun. Um, kawaii Coloring Book. And this was gifted to me by Monet, I believe. Yeah, it was in one of our um, gift exchange boxes, and I did the little gingerbreads, um, nothing fancy, just some white gel pen, I think, and markers, but it was fun, and it's cute, and I can't wait to color out of this more at Christmas time, because they're so stinking adorable, and I think this is Coco Wayo, no, colored caramel, my mistake, colored caramel, their books are adorable too. And then, last but not least, I think, yep, I colored in 50 Vacation Miniatures. I've been trying to keep up to date with Camellia's books, but she's pumping them out too, so it's kind of hard. Um, but this one is absolutely adorable. Sorry, I'm going to grab a sip of tea quick. Because <clears throat> I've been blabbing too much like I always do. And I did, oopsies, I missed it. Where'd it go, guys? There it is. The bunny on the flamingo float, or just riding a flamingo. I'm not sure. He looks pretty, like, much like he has a personality, too. So, um, well, and he's got his life raft on, so it's probably just a bunny riding a flamingo. <laughs> but I just used markers and a little bit of white gel pen, and I think I put Wink of Stella, yeah, on the drink there. Pretty shiny. And, yeah, it was just... Um, I guess this was actually the first page I did, um, just to get back into, like, the color and groove, and I think it came out super cute. I tried to shade the flower, but then I went in too dark, and, yeah, so I just put the white accents in instead, but it looks cute. So, yeah, coloring doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> but look at all those pictures, they're so cute. So I'm hoping I don't let this book sit around until next summer. But anyway... That is all I have for completed pages um, for July and August, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like I said, I hope to be back for a coloring chat um, to give you some life updates and just chat with y'all again and see your comments, and I'm super excited um, to be getting back into coloring again. Um, I'm hoping, because if you were to see, like, my room and stuff right now, you'd be like, oh my god, <laughs> it's kind of a disaster, coloring book-wise. Like, it's all in organized piles, but it's not organized. So I want to do another live again and um, reorganize my books, because I'm thinking there's so many cute Halloween books out right now um, that I'm thinking that I want to, like, reorganize my books based on holiday and then go alphabetically for things that don't like match like that. But anyway, um, so I want to do another live soon with y'all. Um, and if you guys want, I can do a haul that's like a haul from since I've been gone. So it would probably be quite long, <laughs> but it would be fun. So let me know if you guys want to see either of those two videos. Again, thank you guys so, so much for sticking around and, um, coming back to watch my video and I hope you'll stay um through this journey with me as I try to come back so uh yeah anyway I'm just rambling now because I'm sleepy <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe and leave a comment down below um I'd love to reconnect with you all so thank you guys so so much again I love you all and I will talk to you soon bye